Farm Lake Herman, hello. Um, yeah, just back down Luton Town Centre today, um, just to raise awareness um, again. Excuse me, again about issues of um, extremists um, operating in operating in Luton in the local community um, and radicalisation, um, which is which are issues that have affected me um, as a convert to Islam in Luton. Um, just come off of a prevent referral in the last few months. Um, people. Um, people within the local Muslim community and and others um, outside of the in the wider um, excuse me in the wider community um, seeking to um, uh, oppress um, seeking to oppress uh, Muslims um, um, radicalize us um, harass us um, put us under a position put us in a position of duress um, whereby I believe um, seek whereby these people are seeking to um, control people um, and harass them into things, um, into into um, basically ha harass them into a position of weakness, whereby they become pliable to these people's demands, um, which I believe is contributing to um, instances of modern slavery, um, forced marriage, and terrorism in Luton. Um, so yeah, just just to raise awareness about these issues, that I believe have affected me. Um, and will be no doubt affecting, I believe, many others, um, particularly as there's quite an active um, dawah um, um, operation in Luton, which, um, which, which dawah is um, inviting people to Islam, which, which absolutely I'm all for as a Muslim, um, but when there's people who are um, inviting people, as, um, as happened to me, the, some of the people I believe were involved in inviting me to Islam, um, Alhamdulillah, the greatest thing that ever happened to me, but some of them people were that were there at the time, I believe, are peripheral and, and involved in the harassment that I experienced 10 years further down the line. Um, so, so absolutely not in any way um, try to do anything against inv inviting people to Islam, absolutely all for inviting people to Islam, it's the true religion of Allah. Um, but at the same time, my, my concern is that people like myself who are leaving um, their former belief system and their essentially culture and lifestyle um, for a whole new culture, set of people, um, obviously religion, um, that, that when they are leave, leaving into this new, new world essentially, that they're not putting all their trust into people who may not be trustworthy. Um, so, so what I'm all about today, and, and this is affecting people who are born into the religion, religion of Islam as well. Um, but but I think it's primarily going to hit, primarily going to affect people who are being invited to Islam, um, probably probably considerably more. Um, but absolutely, I mean this 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 affects the whole wider community when people are being in, when people are being groomed and then harassed under duress um, into doing things which ultimately down the line ends up with people carrying backpacks onto tubes um, which, are obvious, which are then blowing up and killing 50 people um, so obviously this is an issue that affects everyone in the local community um, so um, yeah just, just down here today to, to make people aware of, of, of these issues um, I believe there is a system in Luton um, I believe it is being facilitated by prevent legislation and, I, and from, from my experience having been a prevent um, referral, which I, which, I, which I worked very hard, by the grace of Allah, I eventually got onto it. I'm aware of the shortcomings in that legislation. I believe it's not being run for the, for the benefit of Muslims um, at heart. Um, I believe it has another agenda, um, but that's a story for another day. Um, um, yeah, uh, Bedfordshire Police, I believe, have failed me massively. Um, still getting all kinds of harassments today, up to this point. Um, Bedfordshire Police try to sweep it under the carpet all the time. I'm really unhappy with the way they've treated me. I'm unhappy with the way uh, Luton Borough Council have treated my prevent referral. Um, so yeah, just pe people who are being radicalised, I, I believe have got nowhere to turn in Luton. Um, so I'm, I'm here trying to trying to get some unity and to reach out to those people um, so we can establish a platform to seek in redress and justice and, um, and, and to get some strength together um, so we're in a position to be able to to withstand this kind of radicalisation. Um, so yeah, I mean, there, there's my blog, um, thehiddenevil.uk. Um, this is this is what I'm about. Is is a standing up against this kind of harassment um, and radicalisation, which I believe has taken place under duress. Um, I believe the people who are going out and committing acts in this country, um, these these terrorist acts, I believe they are being radicalised under duress. I don't believe 
people are, are willfully go, go willfully taking um, these things. I believe these people are these, these loan attackers are going out. I believe they've been harassed into positions where they're developing severe mental health problems, um, and they're they're basically operating. I, I believe out of desperation. Um, but again, that's going off on, on another tangent. Um, but yeah, um, so yeah, uh, support me. Um, spread the word. Um, there's a lot of people in this town that are against me. Um, that 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 um, we can infer um, all kinds of things from that. I'm not going to comment too much on that at this stage. I've, like I say, I've got a, a lot of um, harassment doing this, um, but I'm here um, to make Muslims aware of, of the danger to these people who are preying on people. Anyone who is a sincere Muslim or otherwise, that's a genuinely decent person, would have no problem raising awareness of, again about these people. Um, and especially for people like myself who have been invited to religion and like I say are, are leaving their, their old lifestyle for a new lifestyle um, so like myself I, 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 kind of, I kind of looked at Muslims in, um, in the local community probably roast tinted spectacles back, at, back in them times and um, what I've experienced since then has obviously um, well, has changed my perception um, um, of, of, of certain people uh, I, I would advise about looking at people um, um, too, uh, in too much of a, a, trust, a trusting manner these days um, no matter how many hadiths, no matter how much they Quran, uh, they, 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 they can recite. Um, so yeah, just, just, just try to spread the word um, and, and, to, and to, um, to prevent these people, um, to prevent these people from oppressing, oppressing Muslims and, 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 the, and the wider community as well, obviously. And, um, and, and just to let them know that um, we're, not, we're not tolerating um, this harassment. Um, and we're, we're here to, um, we're here to, to um, to live our lives in peace and um, we're not going to accept anything less, inshallah.